Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones and today we're going to take a look at the DJI FPV drone again and what the guys at the DroneX team have come up with once again. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's go over to the DroneX website and type in just drone hacks into Google or any search engine, you're going to see the top one, drone-hacks, pops up. You click on that one, and it's going to open up the page. This is going to give you all the information that you need. Before we carry on, I just would like to thank you guys for supporting the channel. And for those of you guys that have decided to join the channel and uh, support me via monthly contribution, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. For those of you guys, every view, every subscription, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Back to Dronex. On this page, you're going to see that all the information about Dronex will be right here, and you can go through and read up on what it does. Like, for instance, no fly zone removal, altitude removal, uh, FCC mode for increased range if you're outside of a uh, FCC country like the US. I'm in South Africa, so therefore we are in a CE mode, therefore we need the FCC mode to increase our range in certain areas. Okay, so what we need to do is we want to upgrade the drone but there are a bunch of other drones available as well so if you go to available hacks you're going to see there are tons of options available for you to go down here you can also just go to the top and search in this case i'm going to go for the dji fpv racer if i click on this one it's going to pop up and it's going to tell me what options i've got available so as you guys can see over here there's a bunch of options available but in our case, in most people's case, we don't need ADB root shell. We just want to remove the no-fly zones, altitude removal, and enable FCC mode. So in this case, we can tick this little box over here, and then we can proceed. So continue next step, and it's going to ask us what firmware is supported. In this case, all firmware is supported. So we can literally just go on and go through the whole process and move on. If your drone, for instance, is, let's say, hmm, an Mavic 3, let's just say Enterprise, for example, or let's, yeah, let's use the Mavic 3's normal one, or oh, Mavic 3 Pro is a popular one. If I select this one and I go to the next stage, you're going to see that I've got to enter my firmware in manually to see if it is compatible or not. This is extremely important. For those of you guys that don't know how to do this, you literally can download the Dronex application connect your drone via a cable into your drone, turn it on, and the application will tell you what firmware version you're on. Or you can open up the DJI Fly app, click on the top three dots on the top right, click on about, and you're gonna see your aircraft firmware there as well. But for our purpose, obviously, we are gonna do the DJI FPV Racer, so it's very simple for us because all firmware is supported. So this is great. You can just click there. You can see it's 40 euros per license. It's lifetime access. So you purchase it. It will link to the drone serial number. So if you crash your drone, obviously you're going to have to buy a new license. But you can use your drone. You can if you if you flash the firmware by accident and you're going to lose the mod, then you can just load it again. The license is still linked to your drone. Please remember, if you're on a certain firmware version like the Mavic 3 and you have the mod loaded on your drone and you do update the firmware, you will lose the mod and it's not guaranteed that the new firmware version will be supported. So please, if you've done the mod, do not upgrade. Actually, if you haven't done the mod, if you've never done anything, do not upgrade the firmware on your drone unless absolutely necessary so the reason for that is you think you need to update but basically all it does is in, in, implement something like remote id or there's a bug fix in the back that dji brings in so they limit you even more so if there's something wrong with your drone if there's a new killer feature then by all means update but it, don't update your drone if it's not necessary Okay, in this case, we're going to go to the next step. All firmware is supported, so I can go to the next step as well. And I'm going to go, I can log into my account, or you can register a new account. If you don't have an account, register. It's simple, it's free, it's, it's only going to be used for the drone act, so don't worry about it. You can create any username and password you want. But in my case, I'm going to log in, and I can just literally log in with my details. Okay, as you can see, you've logged in now. Then you can go to your payment options. And you can select your license. If you've got a discount code, you can go with it and you move on. So most of the time there's no discount code, so yeah, we can move on. 
and you can go through the payment process that you can see over here. In this case, I'm not going to go through the process because I already have a DroneX license linked to my account. So I'm just going to close this page and open up the DroneX website or the DroneX application. So let's just close this and go back to DroneX. Actually, I'm just going to go back here. Just going to go back to the DroneX page. And I'm now going to go and download the DroneX application. So if you click on the dro download drone hacks for free, you're going to see a few options over here. The first one is drone hacks version two and drone hacks version one. Now just take a look at the supported models below. You're going to see the mini three classic Neo uh, RC pro enterprise. But what are we looking for? We're looking for the DJI FPV racer. And that is linked to this model the drone X version 2 so i'm downloading this one all the other drones that are not on the list will be used on version one you can click on that and then download or so if you've got like a, a mavic pro or one of those older drones then you can use that one in this case mavic or oh, we're going to use the drone X version 2 application i've already got it downloaded and installed but you click you can click on it you're going to install it on your machine and you're going to move on and once you've opened up the application it's going to look like this so in our scenario, I'm going to click on drone and you're going to see that it says it's not connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on my drone. And connect the cable to the front. That's it. On cable. Okay, wait for the computer to detect it. It should automatically do it. As you can see, I'm not doing anything with my hands right now. It's just connecting to the computer. It's healthy. It tells me that I am currently on the latest firmware. Now, what I can do, I can go and open up DJI Assistant 2 for consumer drones. You have to have this installed on your machine, by the way. If you do not have it installed, please download and install it. So let me just quickly open up. I'm going to have to close DroneX just because it will complain. As you can see, there's a message that popped up. DroneX is not going to be working properly. So as you can see over here, I need to close DroneX before DJ Assistant is going to work. So if you have them open up and you can't find that they're not connecting, then obviously that's your problem. As you can see over there, Close drone X. Now I can move on to my DJI FPV drone. And you're going to see that I'm currently on the latest firmware. Now, if you're not on the latest firmware, there's no really need for you to update because the latest version just adds Goggles 2 support and some remote ID support. But the main one is, is you guys have the Goggles Integra or the Goggles 2. For example, you might be the owner of a Nevada ProView combo, then just buying the DJI FPV drone would be amazing. Also, for those of you guys that just want the latest goggles, yo, they are quite a nice upgrade over the V2s, in my opinion, because you can even fly the 04 system with it. So, and the Avada too. So in this case, I'm just going to close this again. We are on the latest firmware that is confirmed. And I'm just going to jump over to the DroneX application again. And you're going to see it's automatically going to do everything itself again. Still haven't touched the drone. The only thing I've done so far is I've turned it on and I've shown you guys that I am currently on the latest firmware. So you can see the application open up like this. It says the connection is healthy. That's all great. But before we move on, let's just go to the computer self check section. So this is important because sometimes you've got some driver issues and there's some items on your machine that you need to do before you can go. So effectively, this is just going to be like a little pre-check that you're going to run through. So this guys, it says drivers are not installed. Hmm, that's a problem. Looks like you do not have the required drivers installed. Please visit the DroneX Wiki website and download the recovery driver from the install driver section. So let me just go and do that little section over here now. So you can see, I'm just leave it like that. I'm going to go to the drone hacks wiki site. Tutorials and frequently asked questions on the website. Install recovery driver. So in this case, I'm going to click on that link. 
This is going to be for the FPV drone, air to S. Okay, that's great information. So basically, they require a special driver before we can run. So it's incredibly important for us to just click on that little link and make sure that our system is 100% correct. Without this driver, the PC will not be able to communicate with the drone for the hacking purpose. So very important. If you have a drone that's outside this list, do not install this driver. Okay, so let's move on. I need to do this. Close all applications, disconnect the drone from the USB port, download the driver. So I'm gonna disconnect my drone. Let's disconnect it. I'm just gonna leave it on. It's gonna still tell you, because this fan's gonna run through. I'm gonna let it run through. Can I open up the file. Just gonna let it run through its process. Okay, as you guys can see, the installer is not done. So literally just going to press any key and it's going to close. Okay, so now I need to restart the machine. So I will get back to you guys in a minute. Just going to shut down and restart. Okay, so we've just installed the driver. We've just restarted the machine. I've just opened the browser as well. So we're back to going to the Dronex application. Drone is still not connected but we have installed the driver now. Now, before we continue, please consider to click the subscribe button or the join the channel button. It really does help out the channel and every bit of support that you guys give really does make a big difference to the channel. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. Okay, let's carry on. So now I'm gonna go and plug the drone back into the computer. Remember, I've only turned the drone on, I've plugged it in, I went through the process, I did the self-check, it told me to install the recovery driver, which I've done, then I've restarted the machine, I haven't turned the drone off once, it's been here the whole time and I haven't done anything else. So just to be clear, we've just basically purchased the license and we've installed the recovery driver. So I'm going to go back into the drone option, as you guys can see, it's connecting. And now we're just going to do the self-check again. <coughs> okay, so let's do this whole check again. Run the check. As you guys can see, it says recovery is accessible. Failed verifying recovery access. That is quite strange because I did do the full install. So I'm just unplug the drone again. can see the application is going to disconnect. I'm just going to go back. Just going to refresh the connection. No device connected. Plug it back in again. Okay, FPV racer, firmware version, status is healthy, your drone is connected and identified. We're not gonna do a license yet, just gonna click on the check again. Okay, just a quick update from the future. As you guys could see, it did say that the recovery was accessible, but there was a little error message that says failed getting access to it. And basically what it means is, is that the driver is installed, everything's working. However, the system just can't get hold of the recovery process or just the little final test goes all the way through. Um, so basically, if you go to the um, page in the background on the, the wiki page, it tells you that you should try a new USB cable, restart your PC, you know, things like like that or maybe just reinstall the drivers and then that will resolve the issue in this case you guys will see that i continued the um, the mod and everything was successful so if you do get this failed verifying recovery interface access you still know that the recovery is accessible and it clearly shows it in the application so because i'm already on the right firmware it goes really quickly so you guys need to be worried you guys can just simply move on to the license management section which i'll show next Okay, so we've done the health check, we've done the computer check, now we're going to go to the license section. 
and I'm just going to go and register a license. Now, if I did not have a license yet, I could also go and click the purchase license option and it would take me to the website and I could go buy a license and I would come back here and there would be a license. I just have a number of licenses on my account already. So I'm just going to link this license to my drone. As you can see again, we did just doing a quick little verification. Please hold on as we access the well, assesses the compatibility of your computer. So just give it a second. The drone is connected. It is healthy. Let's give it a second just to run through. It's essentially just doing the self check again. So in case you didn't do the self check and you're trying to link a license, then we do the self check again. And you're going to see it gives us an error that the driver is not installed, but we know the driver is installed. We know recovery is accessible. We just know that the verification didn't complete. And that could be because the USB cable is not correct. If you take a look at the wiki page, it gives you all of the troubleshooting steps. You can take a look there, but because it says uh, recovery is accessible, I'm going to proceed and you'll see that everything is just okay. Okay, so yeah, we're going to just click proceed and I'm going to click confirm because I'm taking, I'm linking the license to the drone serial number. Remember, if you link a drone to the serial number, if you update the firmware, then you'll lose the firmware of the mod, but you can still do it again just by going to the section again. But if you crash your drone, and obviously you're going to need to buy a new license. I am part of the beta program, so therefore I can see more options over here. As a normal user, you guys are just going to see one option and you'll click on the apply modification. You can go through all of the legal disclaimer options over here and you can just obviously wait for the timer to finish and then you can click agree and continue and literally that's it as you can see i haven't touched the drone i haven't done anything the drone's just been on and it's now doing it through the whole process so it will load the software if your drone's on a different firmware it will even downgrade the firmware or upgrade the firmware for you but in this case we're obviously on the latest firmware so everything is fine and it is now going to run through the modification process literally nothing needs to be done by you the end user you just sit back and you wait for the mod to complete if you are on the latest firm and everything's up to date as you can see it's going to run through the whole press really quickly and I'm not even forwarding anything. As you can see, modification was applied successfully. That is it. It's literally that easy. There was no basic input from me except clicking a few times on the screen and letting it run through its process. If you want to, you can also go and click on open feature configuration just to see what options have been enabled if you maybe want to disable one of the features for whatever reason i see no reason why you would but you could in this case everything has been enabled and we are done everything's successful so now you can go outside you can set your um, altitude limit to let's say 30 40 meters and just see if the mod is applied or not as it will completely ignore the limits set inside the app now if you like what i'm doing please consider to click the like button subscribe button buy me a coffee join the channel <laughs> all the usual stuff um, but thank you guys for watching to the end of the video see you guys in the next one